everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be ranking my designer crossbody bags from best to worst. And I think the worst one might be a little shocking to you, kind of surprised me, but it's the truth. Before we get into that though, I do want to thank today's video sponsor, which is Audible. I love a good audiobook especially in the car. I just get you there faster. I am gonna share with you my favorite one. Before I do though, you can get your first audiobook for free when you try Audible for 30 days. You just visit audible.com slash Shay Whitney or text Shay Whitney to 500, 500 Now, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Audible Originals, but those are actually exclusive audio titles created by storytellers from very different worlds like literature, um, theater, journalism. There's just so many genres. Um, but the reason I mention that is because this month, my favorite actually is an Audible original, and that is Take Control of Your Life by Mel Robbins. And oh my gosh, it's been life-changing, guys. It's kind of like a self-help book, and I've kind of, it's still the beginning of the year, so I've got the whole like, new year, new you on my brain. And I've, I've just been listening to audiobooks to kind of inspire me for the rest of the year. And this one, it's just, she's funny, first of all, which is awesome. She just really teaches you mind tricks to overcome the biggest obstacle of our life, which is fear. And fear really, whether we realize it or not, it really controls every aspect of our life. And so as those fears daily, they creep up into our minds. They could be little, they could be big, but it happens so many times throughout the day. And she teaches you instant tricks to just switch it off. And it seriously has been, it's been life changing. Um, so I highly recommend it. I love it. So again, you can get your first audiobook for free when you try Audible for 30 days. You just visit audible.com slash Shea Whitney or text Shea Whitney to 500 500. Okay. So I am in I'm in my closet, guys. I mean, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's like a studio. I can't wait to do a full tour. It's coming. I'm sorry I haven't done it yet. It's coming towards the beginning of March. I'm still waiting on one big decor piece. Um, if you've never visited my channel, then you have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, but, but if that interests you, subscribe. This also is a closet. So it's a closet within a closet. It's closet inception. I have a list. I, I have 10 designer bags. Um, I love them all, but some are better than others and we're gonna be ranking them. And I have some criteria here that is important to me. Ease of use, comfort, how much it holds, style slash season, and durability. I'm not going to be going over every single criteria for every bag. You guys know I like to cut to the point. I like to cut to the chase. So I'll be going over the highlights and the lowlights of each bag and what makes them the best and or the worst. I'm gonna go get the first bag. I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but I am gonna be starting off with the best and working my way to the worst, just because it's more fun that way. So I've got the best one in my hand and I think it's probably going to surprise many of you. I'm sure a lot of you will not agree with me and that is okay. But it is my Balenciaga bag. And oh my gosh, I just love this bag so much. It meets all of the criteria to perfection for me. And I just I just love how it, it, it fits so much. It's so comfortable, fits right on my hip. You can wear it crossbody. You can also wear it top handle. I love how, I love this like little compartment right here. It, it's it's just the, the best place for your cell phone. And so it's just convenient for me. I love how it is black and white. So I feel like I can wear it around the winter, but it's just classic black and white. So I can wear it year round. And I also love how it's a little bit trendy. I know that, you know, people love classic bags and it does have a classic shape, but it's definitely more of a trendy piece and I, I just feel great carrying it. So if you do love a more classic bag, you could go for the Louis Vuitton Alma, which is the same shape as this. This has been a fantastic purchase and right now it is by far my favorite crossbody bag. Crazy. The next one on my list might again surprise you because it is another pretty recent purchase, but I've been loving it. And it is my St. Laurent college bag. I love how it's gray. It's such a beautiful gray color with this gun metal chain. I just love it so much, but it's so again, durable. And that's very, very important to me. It's, it's just carefree. I don't have to worry about it when I grab it. It's very similar to the Pochette Matisse, which I also really like. So spoiler alert, this that's also coming, but this did beat that out. For, for several reasons. Um, but it also has this very convenient little pouch back here. I didn't realize that was so important to me, but it really is. 
It really is. I also like how it's magnetic closure, so it's really easy to get in and out, and it does hold quite a bit. I have my stuff packed in here right now, so I did carry this bag this morning. So overall, I just really like the style, the color, the durability, the ease of use. Just, again, a lot of my very, very important criteria, at least for my life, are met with this bag. So if you've been considering it, keep considering it. Maybe buy it. Okay, so as we go along, guys, there are going to be some negatives kind of creep in. So the first two bags, I at least for my lifestyle, there there aren't any negatives. But but now we're on to number three. So there is a little bit, and, and I'll just tell you what it is. It's the Louis Vuitton favorite MM. And if I would have filmed this video probably a year ago, this would have been my number one. I have been obsessed with this bag for so long. It's It really is amazing. It's so, again, carefree and easy. This magnetic closure, guys, This that's what sold me on the bag. I just grab it and I go. I can get in and out of it super easy. It's, it's just, it's a really great bag. But over the years, it has started to wear a little bit, especially on this metal piece right here, which can be expected. So I feel like, you know, that's definitely a lot more scratch than it used to be. And then also, it's just a little bit more flat. It's a little like a pancake. It's not too bad. I just feel like with some outfits, if I'm casual, I feel like it's fine. But if I am a little bit more dressy, I feel like I can't grab this because it does kind of pull down my whole look just because I do feel like it looks a little bit more, a little bit more worn and this was a really expensive bag and so it just kind of doesn't make sense that an expensive bag would kind of bring down my outfit but it's kind of my fault I wore this to death it's still a great bag highly recommend it I, I do have the um, monogram strap to go with it I bought this separately it was a great decision if you can get your hands on these two together really recommend it because it does come with a vaquetta strap which you kind of have to worry about in the rain um, some people don't mind but I really really do like the these two things together. So um, overall, love this bag, highly recommend it, but if you're not careful, it does get a little bit flat. Okay, guys, we've got the good old Gucci Marmons in the Velvet Rubin purple bag. I just, oh, I love this bag. I love it, I love it. Can you see, right when I do it like that, that's the color that it comes off in real life. Um, but it is velvet. So as far as durability, you kind of have to think about it. When you grab it, you have to plan your day. Is it going to rain? Is the bag going to be ruined? And that's kind of the only downside when it, when it comes to this. The style, the color, I feel like it elevates your entire look. It holds so much. You can wear it many ways. It can definitely be crossbody, but you could also be a shoulder bag because of the chain. Um, it's really easy to get into it. You just hit this little button here and it's just, it's, it's beautiful. It's like such a pretty bag. Another downside, there has to be something in it to close it. Do you see that? Is it closed? No, I guess it's closed. Anyway, it does seem like there has to be structure to it a little bit inside for the for it to work. Um, I shouldn't hit it. Overall, love it. It's just, it's velvet. So we've, we've gotta be careful. Alrighty, so we're on to number five and we are going to talk about the beloved and hated Pochette Matisse by Louis Vuitton. And I personally really love mine. Um, there are some negatives to it, but overall I do love this bag. First of all, um, there are, there's a lot of drama going on with this. Louis Vuitton has had so many issues with this, so many design flaws. Um, I, I don't even know if they're still making it. I, I feel, I'm not sure. I should be more up to date with that whole saga, but, but mine has been great. Mine, I haven't had any problems with the glazing or anything like that. Um, some things that I have noticed because of this you know metal part right here, I do really like the little push lock, um, but it does get very, very scratched because you kind of have to like find the little hole and push it in and it's 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 pretty scratched and that's okay um, there is this faqueta little handle here so you have to be mindful again of the rain I did use Apple guard on mine so it's been great I I get a lot of questions about an update on that and as you can see I think it looks great I I've never had to respray it I've only sprayed it once I think I did two coats though and it has kind of darkened but overall I think it's been fabulous and then as far as the inside I do actually have to store the strap in the front when I store it because it won't close unless there's something in the bag. So it's very similar to the Gucci Marmont that I just showed you. So that's kind of weird. So I put the strap in there to close it, but it does hold quite a bit. It definitely holds a lot more than the Saint Laurent that I showed you at the beginning of this video. So that definitely is a pro 
to this. It holds quite a bit, but as far as the style goes, it definitely, in my opinion, has more of a casual vibe. Whereas the Saint Laurent, it's just full spectrum. I feel like it could be dressy. It could be casual, everything in between this for me is very, very casual. And I do dress very casual most of the time. Um, so usually it's fine, but that's just something that I do have to think about when it comes to dressing. But, but overall, I do really like it. I guess I would say, you know, be kind of cautious because obviously there are some problems, but mm, overall, I do like it. I love it. I mean, let's be real. The next bag on my list, you guys are probably going to be surprised it's not higher, um, but it's actually my Chanel filigree bag. And while I do really love it, there are some things that do bother me about it. So the first thing is, um, well, first of all, I, I do love how it has the Chanel logo right here. I love how it's a mix of neutrals, black, beige. I feel like it does just scream Shay. And when I unboxed it, I was so excited and I still wear it fairly a lot, like I do really like it. Um, but it just doesn't feel like as as good of quality Chanel as it should, in my opinion. So I feel like the, the, the chain strap, it just feels a little bit chintzy. I feel like I shouldn't even use the word chintzy when it comes to Chanel. It's just not as good as like my Chanel jumbo and some of like the Chanel boy bag when I feel that version. Like this just, it feels, I don't know, just not quite up to par or up to standards. There is this magnetic closure, which usually I do like magnetic closures because it's easy, but for Chanel, it's just very classic to have the, the turnstile lock. So that's kind of like a little downfall. It's not a huge deal, but then inside you really can't fit too much. You can fit your essentials, so that is good. It's just, you do kind of have to, you know, figure out what you really need and, and that's all that really fits in there. Um, but I do love the colors. I feel like it is durable because it's caviar leather. It's not lambskin. So I really don't have to worry about it that much. And I haven't had much color transfer at all. I feel like there was one day I had, I saw like a shadow and it kind of freaked me out, but I actually just kind of wiped it down with some paper towel and water and it, and it came right off. So I think it's fine, um, but that did kind of freak me out a little bit, but overall it is beautiful. And that is all, I guess. <laughs> the next bag is, it's a bag I really like guys. It's, it's, it's the Chloe Nile bag. And, and I know in every video I rave about this bag because I really like it. The reason it's a little bit low on my list is the fact that it just, it just doesn't hold anything guys. Like, like at all. I can't even fit my wallet in here. I can't even barely, I don't even think my phone fits in here. And it's, it, there it is. Like that's all that fits. And it's just kind of like an odd shape. So as much as I love it and when I get to carry it, I, I just flaunt it around and I just think it's so stunning. And, and I do love it. I, I do think that, you know, I get enough joy out of it that it's worth it to me, but I just have to really be mindful in, you know, what I need for the day, where I'm going. Like, it, yeah, it's, it's just, I feel like when you buy a bag, it should in fact carry some things, but, but nevertheless, I, I do really appreciate it and I feel like it's art in a way. I know that sounds weird, but, but yeah, it just doesn't hold that much. So again, that's kind of why it's, it's, it's number seven on the list. The next bag is this coach bag. And this, this is, whoa, this is the only contemporary designer bag in this list. So this was still, you know, pricey, but not nearly as expensive as the other bags that I showed today, but it's still a little bit lower on my list just because it is a very, like springy, summery bag. It's white, so I really do have to be careful about the color a little bit. It has held up very, very well, but um, it does have a flower on it. I don't know, I just feel like a lot of the months it just kind of sits there. And again, it is it is very, very small. Um, and the inside though, it's, I love that color. Like I love the inside color. But anyway, I, I really think the quality is surprisingly amazing. And I feel like so many people for the longest time were dissing Coach and you shouldn't diss Coach because I, I'm telling you the quality, you can't tell that this is like a cheaper bag compared to the other bags that I showed today. So I, that I do want to give it points for the price point and, and the quality. Um, and then ooh, this, this chain strap just, it feels great. I do really recommend coach seriously look into them. I'll link, I'll link everything that I showed today down below some new versions and pre-loved versions. But, but if you think like really high end designer is too pricey, which it totally is, um, consider coach because it's kind of impressive. Okay. So my ninth worst bat, we're on the worst side of things guys. And that sounds scary. It's really not, but it is my Givenchy 
Antigona bag. So this is the newest bag in my collection. So I really haven't had it that long. Maybe that's why, I'm not really sure. There's a couple things that bother me about it, but I do, I, I love how it holds a lot. And I love the color especially. It's so freaking beautiful. Um, it definitely is more of a winter bag or a fall bag, um, but it's very boxy. So it, like I said, it holds a lot, but it's, it's boxy. And so I feel like it kind of like sticks out far on my hip and you really can only wear it crossbody because the top handle here, it's so little and, and so kind of like tight that you really can't like fit your arm in it barely at all. It just doesn't work. So um, that's kind of a negative. And then also it has these really big, like a big zipper here, um, but it's so like the, the top handle is just so clamped that it's kind of hard to get anything out. It's like you're reaching into like teeth like a death grip of teeth. It's just hard to get stuff out because the opening is so little and, and it's just so like, eh. I'm explaining things so well, you know? I do really like it. I'm not saying I regret this purchase as much. It's just the other bags have a lot of pros and, and, and this has a, a few cons, but still some pros and I really like it. I'm gonna especially like it in the fall. It's gonna be a beautiful burgundy color that I'm gonna wear with all kinds of nice coats. Okay guys, we have made it on to the 10th and final designer crossbody bag, and it's the worst one. It's gonna be shocking. It's gonna shock you guys. It shocked me. I'm sorry. It is my Chanel mini rectangular bag in the lambskin leather. Where do I begin? Okay, so I have a whole video about this. Uh, I actually went back and I watched it. It's terrible. It's so bad, oh my gosh. My, guys, my old videos, I hate them. I hate them so bad. I know I need to embrace the fact that I've like grown. It's just really hard because wow, it's so bad. So anyway, I do really love the bag. I like how it is Chanel. It has the good parts of Chanel. It has the, the, the turnstile cross lock thing. Um, it has the very, very good chain strap here. It's amazing. So much better than the filigree. It's classic lambskin. So, you know, that's that's where Chanel started. You know, I should love it. And I do love this. It's just, it is lambskin. And while in my old video, I said how um, lambskin is a lot more forgiving than what everybody says. I think that is true because I do think lambskin has a terrible reputation. Of, it's just gonna be a terrible, you know, it's gonna get super, super marked up. And, and while I, I don't think it's as crazy as what people say, um, it does still get marked up. And so when I did that review video, I had had the bag for I think three months. That was stupid. You can't do a review on a bag when, you are, when you've had the bag for three months. I have just grown to love caviar leather. Let me just get my caviar bag. This is my Chanel Jumbo in caviar leather. I personally, everybody has their own opinion, but I have grown to love caviar leather. This is lambskin and while it looks more luxurious, you do have to worry about it. And this was a freaking expensive bag. This was very expensive. And so, because it doesn't hold that much and I have to worry about it, I don't I don't know. I guess I just worry about it too much. It just sits there. It sits there a lot. It's it's very dressy and I, and I know you can, you can always wear Chanel no matter what you're wearing. It's the beauty of Chanel. There's just something about this that just, it just sits there a lot. And for me, I hate that. I hate bags just sitting there. So that's why it has turned out to be my worst bag. If I would have purchased this, if I could go back in time, I would get it in caviar. And I am sorry if I swayed you years back and you got a, a lambskin bag. Um, I'm, again, I'm not saying they're terrible. I have just realized that caviar is my favorite. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video because now I'm done. No, I need to do an outro first. So thank you guys for, for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you again to Audible. Um, oh, and also I will link everything down below that I show, like I said before, the new versions and pre-loved versions. That's very helpful for you two guys. I, I get a lot of you know comments that you really appreciate that. Um, so yeah, comment down below your thoughts. Let me know what you think, what's your favorite bag, what's your worst favorite bag. I love hearing from you guys and I really like responding to comments. I take pride that I do that. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next one with the closet tour, hopefully. Closet tour. All right, bye guys. Ooh.